Shall I say, Mr. Lamadot, yeah. now, please? What is it, Dimitri? Oh, it is a young man called Cruster. He has been here a hundred times, and a hundred times I have told him you are asleep. But he will not believe me. Then, Ira, you are a very bad liar. Oh, Mr. Cross is a young man of good sense. Show him in and serve breakfast. Mr. Cruster. What can I do for you, Mr. Carston? I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lermontov, but it's a matter of very great importance to me. Yes? Last night I wrote you a letter. And it was a silly letter, and I'd like to have it back before you read it, please. I see. That's the one. Unfortunately, Mr. Carston, I have already read this letter. Oh. Mr. Lamontov, please. You are one of Professor Palmer's pupils. You say you've written a string quartet and a piano concerto. Yes. Very interesting. Mm, would you care to play me something? Uh, something of your own, I mean. Of course, if you, if you wish it. This is a study I wrote for the piano. But I'm thinking of orchestrating it, putting it into an opera I'm working on. finished already. It was very interesting. Hope I haven't ruined your breakfast. By the way, I need a new coach for the orchestra. Would the idea interest you? Would it interest? Well, I shouldn't be able to pay much money first, of course. Eight pounds a week and expenses. Absolutely marvelous. Right. Then get yourself some breakfast and come over to Covent Garden. Thank you. And your letter, Mr. Craster. If you take my advice, you destroy it immediately and forget all about it. The heart of fire is your work, isn't it? You see, Mr. Craster, these things mostly happen unintentionally. Well, I know that's why. That's why it is worth remembering that it is much more disheartening to have to steal than to be stolen from. Hmm? Good morning. <laughs>